Lord, shit, Jesus Christ, time for some act right. Christians, get your facts right. His Christ was not his name. That's Greek for one who was anointed. Yahshua ben Yosef was his name. Do Christians know this? Let's go into the time of Johannes Gutenberg. Skipping a little bit. 1437, he created what is known as a printing press with movable print for the Europeans. Even though the Chinese had invented a printing press with movable print in the 12th and 13th century. But here you have in Europe, for the very first time, a printing press with movable print. But the problem came to be is that he needed money. So he borrowed money from an individual who uh, really was a baron. The barons at that time, which are Lombards, uh, etc., etc., they were the ones that handled and had the money. Okay, they were money lenders. He borrowed money from Johannes Fuss, F-U-S-T, at a high interest, which he couldn't pay back. So Johannes Fuss confiscated this printing press of Johannes Gutenberg. And right after that came the very first printed Bible on earth in 1475. The Old Testament was printed. This Old Testament consisted of the Pentateuch, first five books of Moses, and it's also called the Old Testament. The Old Testament, first five books of Moses, and the Pentateuch is all one and the same. This book was created, or this form of, of literature that's contained in the Old Testament, was created by one Moses Maimon called Maimonides in the 12th century. 1180 to be exact. Okay? So they used this uh, form of writing, or the manuscript that made up the first five books of Moses. Moses who? Moses Maimonides. That's who created the books, but they will give you as an illusion the fact that this is the books of this Moses that's connected to the religion called Judaism. But so it be. Uh, this Old Testament Bible that was printed in 1475 for the very first time was a Bible created and written for Christians, not the Jews, because see the Jews had their Torah and Talmud. I don't want any of the listening audience who is looking at this video, this film, to think in their minds, even though they have been trained to think this, that Judaism is a B.C. religion. Judaism is not a B.C. religion. Judaism cannot be predated before Rashi. Rashi, we talk about the late 11th and early 12th century. He was the one that formulated and created Judaism as a religion in two forms. His first formula for Judaism was the protocols for the barons. He was a baron himself. Okay? He lived in France. Uh, his family owned vineyards. It was grape growers. So, these were barons, and today they are known as Jews. Okay? Now, uh, this formula for them was created by Rashi, which is the protocols of how a baron should act, how he should keep his money, how he should treat the people living in and around uh, the mass people who are living in the world today or the masses of people living in the world today. How to treat them, how to interact with them, how to do business with them, etc., etc. Then the next formula that Rashi created was the formula for Judaism, the beginning formula for Judaism, because he wrote what is known as Sefer Hayasa literature. Sefer means books, Ha means of, and Yasa means books of the upright ones. Who are the upright ones? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those are your upright ones. That's what he wrote about them. To. See? Okay. Now, all this was created by Rashi. So, you cannot put Judaism in B.C. time era. So, uh, Judaism is not a B.C. religion, and you cannot 
predate Judaism as a religion prior to Rashi. We're talking about the late 11th and early 12th century. Nor can you predate Judaism prior to the Crusades of 1096. You see? So now, here you have the barons in conflict with the Christians of Europe. You see? So this is where the conflict came in. This is where the polemic came in between the Christians of Europe and the barons, who are the moneylenders, who, are, who, who also are the Lombards. And if you go to England, you will go to uh, a, a street called the Lombard Street, or Lombard Street, and that's where all your banking houses are today, your lending institutions, the House of Rothschild, Solomon Brothers, etc., etc. That's where your money lending institutions are, right there today. That's just nothing but an offshot of these Lombards or Barons, okay? But Christ Western Christianity had a polemic going with these various Barons through history, okay? And what happened when the first Bible was printed in 1475, which is called the Old Testament, that was written and created for Christians. Why? Because the Roman Catholic Church had taught their parishioners against the barons, against the moneylenders, against the Templars. You've got to understand Hebrewism come out of a religion called Judaism. <laughs> Who created Judaism is one Rashi, 1080 to 1100, 20 years to create it. <laughs> what did he, how did he create it? He created formulas for it. The formula for Judaism as a religion. Okay? And that formula was taught to a people known today in history as the Templars. You had to go back into the Crusades to learn about the Templars, mm -hmm. etc. And they began to disseminate in a religious form the formulation or the form that Rashid created for a religion called Judaism. Judaism is not a BC religion even though they teach the masses of people that uh, Judaism was first, Christianity second. They said that this Jesus the Christ was a Jew first. And that after his death, supposedly in 30 AD, came what is known as Christianity. But they are saying that Jesus was a Jew. And they teach you that from Judaism and Christianity came Islam, or the Muslims, etc., etc. You see? Well, that's historically incorrect. The first of the three major Western religions is called Christianity in the New Testament. And the New Testament was written by a homosexual <laughs> by the name of Desiderius Erasmus. Okay? He was commissioned by Pope Alexander VI in 1500 to write something on the object of Christianity. The object of Christianity is Jesus the Christ. So what he did after 16 years of formulating his writings, he came out with what is known as the Synoptic Gospels, or the three Gospels, or the three manuscripts, which is consisting of Mark, Matthew, and Luke. They always tell you that John came later. That's true. So he came out with the Synoptic Gospel, or the Old Testament, I'm sorry, the New Testament, but it was called in 1516 the Novum Instrumentum. 1519, they changed it to the Novum Testamentum. 1535, they changed it to the New Testament. Now, Erasmus, Desiderius Erasmus, was a European playwright who was an ex-Roman Catholic priest. Okay? And he came out for the very first time with the creation of what we know today as a New Testament. And then he went on and added six more other books to the New Testament, or the Novum Instrumentum, which is 1 and 2 Peter, 1 and 2 Corinthians, Galatians, and Epistles to the Romans. Those are his six manuscripts. So he had nine manuscripts that made up the New Testament. This is history. Okay? So, uh, once you understand that uh, the Old Testament and was written and came out of the religion called Judaism. 
and the New Testament was created separately, independent of the Old Testament by one, this is Eric Erasmus, for the Roman Catholic Church. And it was put under one cover for the very first time by a man by the name of Jacob Van Livesfeld in 1527. See, I'm giving you a lot of history that no one else is giving you. 1527 is when they put the Old and the New Testament under one book. Okay, under one cover. That was done by Jacob Van Livesfeld, a Swedish theologian. And then in 1535, Martin Luther put the Old and the New Testament under one cover also. Let's go back during the creation of the King James Version that came out in 1611. Mm -hmm. A a uh, group of theologians led by Lancelot Andrews created what is known as the King James Version. All this was financed by Jews, Jewish money. Okay? And uh, in the King James Version, something happened. You know what happened? The fourth gospel came out. This is something else no one is telling you. The fourth gospel of John came out. And if you get a Bible concordance and you look up Jew in there, they will refer you to Jesus being a Jew in John. That's where Jesus first became a Jew in the writings of the literature of John that came out in the King James Version. So what happened, uh, the Jews got a jump on the Christians, took them by surprise. When they came out with the King James Version with the John in there as the fourth gospel, with Jesus being a Jew in there. So that's how they connect Christianity with Judaism. You see, it wasn't done in an in, in, in a, in a origin or a historical fashion or a progression. It was done by a cunning idea. The first book of the Bible was Genesis. It was written by Moses, family. If you didn't know it, we know he didn't write it, but for argument's sake, we'll go with it. He, he, he supposedly wrote the first five books of the Bible, which the Hebrews call the Torah. Okay? If you go to Acts, you go to Acts 7, you go to Acts 7, 22, it says, And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and was mighty in words and in deeds. And when he was full 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. Okay then, that man was 40 years old before he even recognized anything about being a goddamn Hebrew. Okay? Now the motherfucker, it said that the man was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. Damn, that don't leave out nothing. So all the things that I'm showing you, they knew when they came into Africa. They didn't have no books into Genesis. A lot of people, they like to go in church and tell you, this is the oldest book in the world. That's a goddamn lie. You got a white Jesus. You got an Arab Allah. You got God's handling goddamn tablets up out the sky. How many more y'all want me to show? Every time you look it up, we land on That's across the board. Jesus and John. Jesus is a fag, y'all. I'm just, I'm just here to let you know. And you can paint his ass black. Ain't no black Jesus. That's a song. Ain't no Jesus. Don't care. Don't come here talking about the black Jesus. Ain't no Jesus. Ain't no Yeshua. None of that. They just doing that shit to make you feel good. The so-called black is a song. They raped a song and brought on Jesus. So ain't no black Jesus. Even if he black, there's still no manuscripts on him. He's in the same damn position as a white G Jesus. There is no manuscripts on, on, on Jesus outside of those four Gospels and some other shit, but it come much later. It come much later. These books are just yesterday. Hell is not a place you go if you're not a Christian. It's the failure of your life's greatest ambition. It's a bad decision to blindly follow any religion.